evening, Can TV viewers. Thank you for tuning in to the Doty Report. Oh, I gotta shift my hat. My dream is not showing. On comprehensive health. Um, my name is Yolanda Givens, and I am. Which way does it go? I am your host um, for today, and I have been gone for weeks. Um, so I'm happy to be back. Um, Miss Beverly did an amazing job um, as the ho host, so I hope you guys enjoyed her. Um, so I want to start this um, today's show off with um, just recognizing someone that has been very true and very dear to the Georgia Doty Comprehensive Health Organization um, and to the city of Chicago. Um, I'm not a Chicagoan, but everything that I've heard about um, Father Clements um, has been great, that he's been a longtime um, advocate, um, civil rights leader, and in my a uh, few times that I had met him, he was very um, compassionate and caring. Um, so we want to just um, send our condolences to his family. And if I could just bring his picture up right, right, right where it go, right here. And we just want to just say he has been a great supporter of the organization and will surely, surely um, be missed, um, not by only the Georgia Doty organization, but by the city of Chicago as well. So our condolences to the family. He is definitely um, leaving a legacy for his children to follow. And everyone that's encountered him. I, I saw some very good social media posts about him. So again, we just want to send our prayers and our condolences to his family. Um, so I always like to, and Mr. Doty, uh, Mr. Don Doty, who is the founder and CEO of the Georgia Doty organization. I just always like to say hello to him and I'm sure that he um, is personally sending his prayers and condolences to Father Clemens and that entire, his family. So we're going to get right into today's show. Today we are going to be talking about health and fitness, nutrition and wellness, and we know that is a huge thing that um, everybody is talking about, and we're all trying to get fit, fit and we're all trying to live healthier um, lifestyles, so we say. Uh, we'll see what our guests have to say about that today. So I am want to get this started, and I want to introduce the guest for today, Mr. Morton Patton. Right. Um, thank you for being here today. Um, he is a born and raised Chicagoan, right? South Side. You know, on the South Side. You know, I don't know the South Side, West Side thing. Um, but he is the founder of Group Fit. Yep. That's uh, spelled P H I T, and he is going to share some knowledge, some nuggets, some sauce, um, and. I, from what I hear, some different ways of thinking about um, health and fitness. So we're going to get right into the conversation. You guys know this is a live show, so please, 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 we welcome um, callers um, to call in with questions and comments. Um, Facebook, what's up? I'm back. You can see see my guests. Love y'all for tuning in. Um, it's been a while, but I'm here. So first of all, I want to... Um, Ask a question. What is group fit? Group fit is a, a discipline through fitness exercise program. It's designed to educate and motivate and commit people of all ages to a healthier lifestyle through fun cardiovascular fitness games. Okay. Okay. And let me. So why is why did you um, why is fitness important to you? What what made you think about group fit? How does that have some impact or the importance on it in, in your own life? Well, you know, I just, you know, really, if you really look at it, like, with, you know, with common sense that, you know, without your health, nothing else matters. I okay. mean, you can, you know, have all the money in the world and, and not healthy. You know, you can get, you know, a sprained ankle that will put you down. You know, it's just the smallest things can be put down and regardless, you can't buy yourself another ankle. I mean, you know, if you're not healthy, you're not right. going to be able to enjoy anything. Right. So I would think that, you know, to me, my health is up there like very high priority. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so how long have you um, been in the business of fitness, so to speak? Uh, what's your background? 
Um, you know, I've, uh, of course, been personal trainer at Bally's and okay. Crunch Fitness and mm -hmm. all that stuff, you know, back in the day. Mm -hmm. I started off with that, but I became like a gym teacher for uh, a daycare aftercare, and that's when I really got serious about it. I okay. saw that the obesity rate was like really high. Yeah, it is. And the garbage that the kids were eating, so I kind of developed this program, Fit, and um, it's called Fit Spans for Putting Health into Today. And... Um, you know, it was just something I just came up with that made it fun and mm -hmm. something that the family could actually do together. And and I've uh, been going on ever since uh, 2002. 2002. So I love that. Putting health, health into, today. into today. What does that mean, really mean? Well, making health, uh, not necessarily meaning that you have to exercise every day. Okay. Because, you know, the older you get, the less we move and, you know, and... In the, so to me, the less pressure you put on yourself to move, the more easy it'll be for you to actually get up and move. Okay. Because a lot of people, you know, they put pressure on themselves to do something when really you don't need to have that pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, if you move in, if if you went from moving zero times in a week to once a week, or even if you narrow it all the way down to if you was having seven sodas a day and you stopped at six, mm -hmm. that's progress. Okay. You know, don't put so much pressure on yourself. Right, 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 right. Because we all, um, many of us, like, you know, got gym memberships and um, we feel the pressure to go. And yeah. if we don't go, we, yeah, you, feel you know, you feel stressed out about because yeah. you're not going to the gym. Yeah. Um, but I do love the idea of making it, I always say, I have to make it realistic for me. Right, exactly. You know, I got to figure it out that I, uh, not even the word diet, but a, a nutrition plan for me that's going to be realistic and that I'm going to be able to maintain. Exactly. So what what do you say about um, this idea of all, you hear about all the different diets and don't eat this and don't eat that? Like, what what's, what's your I mean, take on that? Well, my philosophy is that, you know, we all have our time that we're going to go mm -hmm. and... You know, you can just make it a lot more comfortable while you're here. So, um, if if you know if if you can put something together that works for you, you need to stick with that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you know some people, you know, can sit down and eat a whole sleeve of cookies, and some people, you know, three cookies is enough for them and they satisfy their urge. So, mm -hmm. it's not about you. Can't, it's not a cookie cutter type thing. It's something that's is tailored to each individual because what works for you may not work for me okay you know so but i i will say across the board if you if me what works for me is that i drink a a quart of lemon water warm lemon water every morning and okay. that just takes all the sodium out of my body and, and it flushes my system out and you know you can you know urinate two three pounds out of your body just from that flush okay Okay, so what is, I started doing that um, this year, uh, drinking lemon water, kind of mm -hmm. just because someone told me it was good for me. Right. Um, hey, okay, wait, so we have a caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, can you tell me what it actually means when you say, get moving? When you, what it actually means when, you, when he says, get moving? Yes. Okay, so what, what do you mean when you say, when you made the statement, I just need to get moving. Well, I mean, getting up. I mean, if if you if you've been a couch potato for years, mm -hmm. if you get up and just walk up and down your stairs, you know, two or three times, that's more than what you did the day before. Okay. You know, and me moving consists of stretching, uh, not so much as like actually cardio, because if you depending on your fitness level. Stretching can be a part of your the beginning of your cardio. So okay. just even if you're just doing some form of stretching. Okay, talk a little moving. bit more about stretching because I we don't I don't I don't very few people have told me to go and stretch first. Even I mean I know it a little bit because I was a cheerleader back in the day. You stretch first before you do all that, yeah. but you don't really hear that piece of it. Um, yeah, I mean because a lot of people want the microwave workout, and you know, you know, sometimes I was go to the health club and, and I'm over there stretching. My buddies have all the weights, and they're like, uh, "What's with the Jane Fonda workout?" I'm like, <laughs> "Dude, if you don't stretch." you're going to pay for that in the end. Mm -hmm. 
So stretching, you know, is essential. It gets your blood circulating and it oxygenates your blood and it gives you a lot more energy. Okay. Okay. So you're saying we need to add that piece to every Definitely. Every stretching is essential. I okay. mean I'm fifty I'll be fifty six tomorrow and every time I go to the health club I used to have knee problems and I couldn't go to the theater and I had to stretch my legs out. I thought I added that stretching to my work out uh all those pains and stuff went away right i love that um so that's key uh, we are talking to uh the founder of group fit and we're talking about um health and fitness and he has developed this fun way of uh, uh or more realistic way i think of just getting our health and and wellness in order so talk about um a session with you like what do you do if, if a group comes to you and and want to do um, some fitness and want to do something to get moving well uh, a class an hour class typically an hour class but we can do a half an hour 45 minutes but typically an hour with a couple of water breaks and stuff like that would look like about 25 minutes of just stretching and breathing okay and the whole class is silent so okay. you can have 20 30 40 50 people in the class and nobody is saying anything because mm -hmm. it kind of instills a lot of discipline and structure mm -hmm. you know as well mm -hmm. so we come in and we do the stretching and calisthenics then we do go into these fun cardiovascular fun fitness games to make okay. big groups of people move and have fun and not really realize they're working out. Okay. Okay, give me an example. Maybe we can go to your website and show um, something. But what's an example of something fun? Uh, we may take, you know, if we have, you know, 40 people, we may take, you know, 500 tennis balls and throw them out into the, a the gym floor. And the group together can only pick up so many balls at a time and they have so much time to put them back into the bag. If not, there's extra exercise for the whole group. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, and you're doing that with both kids and, and adults. adults. Yeah. Kids and adults. Yeah. Then we may have a you know musical chair, the, you know, the traditional musical chair, but the odd chair may be 20 yards away. Mm -hmm. So you're jogging around the chairs, whistle blows, everybody get their chair, two or three people is racing to the odd chair. So cool. And adults do that? Yeah, they love it. I mean, they, it's, uh, <laughs> it do sound fun. It's, it's definitely fun. something that me and my group, but yeah, we would do. Definitely a lot definitely of Definitely found sound fun. So, um, we are in, and in, in they say we're in a crisis of uh, obesity among our, our children, and probably amongst everyone. Yeah. Um, what, what do you think that's, from and 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 what's just what's your take on that? What what do you think about this? Just why are we so? Why is there so much obesity I mean, going I on? Mean, uh, they, you have so much stuff that's bad for you that's at your fingertips. Sure. I mean, you could write, you know, they supersize your fries and you know, like I stop that. Supersize you know, your, your Pepsi, drinks. Your drinks. Yeah. See, I, I cut the I cut the pop out. I cut. Certain stuff I just cut out, but then some there are certain things you have you can just cut back on. You mm -hmm. don't have to like be this person that you know eat this bland food. I mean, I still eat a lot of foods that people say that it's not good for you. I have a, my father's eighty; he eats all type of stuff, mm -hmm. you know? but he gets up and he moves because right. mo health and wellness. The the key to health and wellness to me is the movement component. A lot of people focus on. The nutritional component, but I'd rather take the movement component because if my body can burn the garbage off, okay, you know. But without you moving, you can eat healthy as you want to. It's eventually, it's gonna catch up with you. Right. You have to move or die. You have to move. We gotta. We gotta get moving. That's you just. Have to move. That's the. That's the key. Um, yeah. That's the key. To try to get moving. Um, workout class, gym. But you talked about going to the gym and just enjoying the sauna. Oh, yeah. I mean, my workouts at 56 <laughs> is, like, totally different. I don't put no pressure on myself. If I go to the if, – if at certain age, if you, you know, up there in age, just getting up going to the gym, that was a – that was a workout. Okay. If you got there and said, I don't feel like doing it, I'm just going to take a, a steam or a sauna. You do it good. That was good. The next day or the next time you go, 
you may do something more. A little bit more. So it's just don't put that pressure on yourself that you feel like you have to go in and lift up all the weights mm -hmm. and you can't eat this and can't eat that. Just getting out, going to the car, walking to the gym is can be enough at that time. I love that. So, viewers, do you guys hear that Facebook phones? Do you hear that? Stop putting um, unnecessary pressure yeah. on yourself. Right. Take your time. Get up and move around. Um, do everything in moderation. You yeah, know? I mean, that's it. Do everything in moderation. I, I, I really love that. Um, kind of taking your time and that health, your, your health is everything. Um, without that, you're not, not here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Eventually, matter. you're going to check out. I mean, e eventually, go eventually we're going to check out anyway. Right. But we are definitely talking about health and wellness because we want to be able to stay around um, a little bit longer, but be able to enjoy life. You know, you right. can't do that if you're not um, healthy. But if you're hooked up to something, you know, something hooked up on your side, or, you know, you want to just try to make it more comfortable while you're here. And mm -hmm. that's that's it. So you mentioned that, um, I know you said this, You've and I think you've done this like with families, right? Right. It's a great way. So talk a little bit about, uh, because it, I, I think it is important to have something out. Because most of the time, adults, we just go to the gym and we hanging out with each other. And we're leaving the kids, um, the kids grandkids, we're leaving them at home. And we know they don't go outside and right. run around like they used to because of safety and double dutch. And right, right. you don't see all that going on. So yeah, talk a little changed. bit about how you incorporate like a family so that family time can be incorporated yeah, you know, into like, fitness. I designed it. The, the, when I first designed it, it was just for kids. It was called FIT, stood for uh, Proper Head Start and Training. Mm -hmm. So we took it to D.C. to link it up with Michelle Obama. Let's move initiatives. We mm -hmm. opened it up for the family. Mm -hmm. So putting health into today now. So we wanted to make it so that the family could have something to do together. Like it kills three birds with one stone. One stone, you're spending time with the child. Mm -hmm. The second one, you're having fun. The third one, you're combating obesity. Wow, How I can love you that. not, you know, try to incorporate that in your corporation? Right. You know, this is something that brings the family together or brings your corporation together. It's a lot of team building exercises in there. Just a lot of fun. Just It makes you get up and move. I love that. I love that you keep talking about getting up and move. But the idea of being able to do something that incorporates the whole family um, is important. What, 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 um, what is your, um, how do you see um, in our communities, um, low-income communities, um, urban communities, communities that are struggling, um, how does health, wellness, and fitness kind of fit into that, and what maybe we could do differently, you know? Well, I mean, uh, uh, I think a lot of it, you know, parents that so-called care, that they still are uh, holding a lot of the kids too close mm -hmm. and instead of letting them out and getting out and, you know, go swing on the monkey bars. Yeah, you mm -hmm. may sprain your ankle. You may mm -hmm. break your arm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that... Those things are a part of life. You got to let them, let them get out and ride them bikes. And, mm. you know, sometimes mm. they may be out of your sight on the bike. I mm. mean, it's just a part of growing up. Right. I thank God that I grew up in the era that I grew up in because we were just Everywhere. all over the place. <laughs> right. and my mother them knew where we were at. Right. We were uh, at that get home and we all rode miles. Absolutely. And you would think that our thighs would be burdened. Right. No. Right. Because we was acclimated to, you know, to doing that every day, right. getting up doing something. So they didn't hold us as close, mm -hmm. you know, and overprotective. Mm -hmm. and so that's, I think that's a big problem that the parents don't relax and, you know, and just let the child be a child. Right, right. You know? So what have you seen? I know you've done things with groups or in schools. Um, what have you seen? with children as it relates to just getting moving um is uh, they do it they, they respond well um do you have some that's just like uh, yeah no, I, in my class i mean it i get a big response mm. from adults and kids because it's something that's engaging and it has nothing to do with sports now i may prepare your team for we can come in and prepare your team for a sport okay and give you the discipline and the structure that uh, you know a child in this in sports needs, mm -hmm. but this has nothing. We don't 
you know, we don't shoot anything like a basketball or kick it like it's a football or soccer ball. This is all, you know, games where people could actually, you don't have to be athletic or you don't have to be strong or, you know, you know, you, you can be any, any uh, level of fitness that you come with, you can utilize that and have fun and be productive in this class. Okay. Okay. And what is, oh, we have another caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. You have a question yeah. or a comment? Yeah, 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 this is Dominique. This is Dominique. This is Dominique. And I was calling, yes, I was calling to find out where you guys located. Where are you located? It's mobile. Mobile. So, Group Fit comes to you. Um, so, Group Fit comes to you. You can um, go to Georgia Doty Health org organization and we're going to have um, the information about group fit group fit has a website it is group fit p h i t dot com and always i tell you guys if you are on facebook find me yolanda gibbons on facebook because i will be providing you can always inbox me i will be providing um mr patton's information first thing tomorrow morning um, so it is mobile. Um, he comes to you, to your organization, to your business, to your home, to the park, wherever you are located. Yes. Uh, wherever you are located, um, he is willing to come to you. Um, that's yep. great. Yep. You was gonna say something? Uh, no, just you know, yeah. We 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 actually come out as mobile mobile program. We bring all our equipment out to you. We just ask that you have the space and have the people there. This. You know, open and willing to participate, have a lot of fun. Okay. Combat a lot of obesity. Okay. Um, what do I want to? What do I want to say? What is um, if you could share anything with the viewers um, as it re relates to fitness and just the wellness of of them? What what like what would be your your? It was like your final thoughts, and you think that some nuggets or something that you wanted to be able to give them. What would you share or say to them? We don't get moving. Out. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> well, I mean, today in today's society and in our ages, I I would desperately be trying to think of something to do that I can do with my family. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care if it's just going on a hike through the you know, a small mountain or just anything, mm -hmm. you know, to get up and get moving. But I would do something like that with my, try to do something with my family because the smallest things that did, as an adult that you do with a, a child that they're not accustomed to you doing, it works wonders for them. The self-esteem, everything boosts when you when you actually participate in something that the child think that is fun. Mm -hmm. You know, so... If I could give that one piece of advice is that, you know, try to do something as a group, you know, something fun as a group that makes you move. And I promise you, you would feel a lot better than just going to, you know, a gym by yourself. Right, right, right. So what I love about Group Fit um, and what I love about it is that he is promoting, one, the family coming together to do an activity. But... Fitness can be fun. That is our biggest, I think, one of our biggest challenges because we feel like it's a chore. Um, I got to get up in the morning. I got to work out. You know, those types of things. And this idea that um, fitness can actually be fun. And right, exactly. if things that you're doing are very unique and it's not the traditional right. uh, types of workout, I'm going to see if we can go um, to your website really quick. We don't have, is there anything in particular we can show just a little bit? Uh, uh, I see some of the activities here. Is there anything in particular we can show? We got a few minutes. We gotta scroll back down, up. back up. Up, no down. I'm sorry. Uh, you can try that channel seven. You can try that. Is that here? Yes. Uh, I don't know if we can show that. It's, we only have a few minutes. Let's see. So I don't know if we can get show a video, but right. what I really want you guys to see is I see them there working with a family. We see some big groups.
That looks like something. That's a group of that's adults. That's a good team building exercise. <laughs> that was like we did like 50 teachers. Nice. It was like 25 on that side, 25 on the other side, and they all had to rely on one another to take their rest, but they had to sit in one another's lap. So getting in shape, getting the body moving, yeah. as I see all on um, the website here so what is this a group of it's just a group of kids doing some stretches outside doing some stretches outside okay okay so i love that um any find anything else you want to share about uh group fit or just about this idea of just the whole health and wellness and why it is so important that we incorporate it in our lives uh yeah you know um again you know just going back to um you know just the importance of just you know having your health how how that's more valuable than anything it is more valuable than money i mean it's just so essential and right. if you can you know get something that's aware is where you would want to get up and do this mm -hmm. not something that is a chore because the moment it becomes a chore you know, you get a few people that may, you know, like slip through the cracks and they're like, oh, I just love going to work out. Mm -hmm. But most of us, that's not going to be fun for us. Mm -hmm. So what I did was when I designed Fit, I made it so that it came up with these tra untraditional or put a spin on traditional games and make it fun for people and they'll have a blast and make them feel like they want to come back. Because right. you know, that's the, that's the key is making feel making people feel like, wow, you know, I want to come back. I want to take another right. class, and right. it's not going to be the same thing that you did the last time you came. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, so you got to keep it because with kids, you have to keep things fresh and exciting. Yeah. Oh yeah, right? absolutely. Because they will tell you like, this is boring. We did this already. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, so this is has been the Dota Report on Comprehensive Health. My guest, uh, Mr. Morton Patton, is the founder of. Group fit, putting health into today. Yep. He figured out a way some some years ago to make fitness fun, um, not the traditional, um, and something that's realistic for everyone. Um, I love the idea of him saying just get up and move. You got to get that body moving around. Um, I love the idea because it is so important in our communities um, that we are able to bring families together and have a good time. Um, so it's not the kids doing their own thing, the parents doing their own thing, but it's something that we could do together Exactly. That is beneficial for living a healthy life, and yeah. I really, really love that. So, you guys know, um, tomorrow, uh, find me on Facebook. Um, Yolanda Givens, find me. I will be providing all of his information, um, as well as go to the georgiadotyhealth.org website. Um, I have to wrap up. They're telling me to get out of here. Um, thank you. I'm back. I was a little nervous, got to get back in the groove, but I think we had some great uh, conversation, and I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll be back here next Tuesday at 7.30, um, and everybody have a good um, Thanksgiving um, holiday. Enjoy the holiday, and after you eat all that food, make sure you get up and move, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Get up and move. <laughs> Thank you so much right. um, for being my guest. Again, we yeah. want to send our prayers and condolences to the Father Clemens family. Thank you so much.